back. We back. We back to action because this is our first trip of the season, right? Of the Euroleague yes. season. Euroleague we season. were kind of missing that kind of action. We are in Istanbul, but so far our work trip has been from the hotel mostly, just uh, being here and trying to organize some things uh, which we are not very successful at so far. It's been hard to communicate with some people, but that's how it is in this business apparently. Putting a lot of effort to organize these things which are actually, according to your league regulations, they're mandatory, so... What the hell is going on? Why are we walking to the interview? Because we couldn't call a taxi at first at the hotel for half an hour. Later, we tried to catch a cab on the street. We couldn't like for 20 minutes. And we had like a space of one hour, 30 minutes before the interview. And from the our hotel, it's like 10 minute ride by taxi. But since we wasted so much time, we just decided to go there by foot. So we're good, we're very close to the hotel where the interview is about to take place. But I was really shocked that it was impossible to get a taxi on Wednesday night, 8 o'clock, like a random day in the middle of the week. The only reason we need to come there like an hour or even an hour and a half before is because we obviously have all the equipment to set up. We have to try to find the room that usually is not a problem, but you never know where you're going to be filming the interview. So. So the one-on-one -on -one interview part is officially over. We had Nikola Kalinic in the Barca's hotel and today we came all the way to the other side of Istanbul where we got Dimitri Sitoudis for a 40-minute interview, which probably surprised you, Donatus, a little bit, didn't it? No, I wasn't because Sitoudis likes to talk. He's a, he has a big mouth. He always has some ideas to express and he was always challenging. His interviews is never a monologue. Kind of challenged me. I think I did I did well. And actually, we had FS interview, let's say, planned, scheduled, but they called off all the media availability because they were so focused on the game against Barca that they wanted just, you know, to avoid all the distractions. So that's why we didn't have any, let's say, one-on-one -on -one FS interview in this trip. And we're actually going to see if that special approach from the players and the coaches for this game will work just in a few moments. So we're off to the FS arena now. The game was basically as good as any ever big game, but probably the main highlight of the game was after the game, seconds after the game. And we have some exclusive footage uh, from that incident which went viral, let's say, in the EuroLeague basketball community. And the most unfortunate part was that I was actually filming the whole thing and I stopped just a second before Shadas started going pretty crazy. So apparently when Barcelona head coach Jesse Kavicius shook hands with Ergin Ataman, a couple of seconds later he started saying something in a pretty aggressive way, in a, in a negative way to the rest of the coaching staff. And later we figure out that he said something like, oh, good fucking cameras or something like that. And he accused FS coaching staff for spying their practice on a game day, which supposedly, you know, explain how FS made some defensive adjustments to prepare for the game against Barca, at least uh, from Shara's perspective. So it was kind of a heated topic because the assistant coach of FS, who was involved in this, I would say, pretty heated altercation, Tomislav Miatovic, I was told that he's the last guy who gets into that kind of uh, altercations. Some assistants had to come in to separate uh, head coach and, and Miatovic. Also, FSGM Alper Gilmas also calmed Truna Sisikavic down and, you know, they they both hugged each other and Charas uh, left the locker room with a smile, but for sure he still thought that FS, they were spying their practice. Basically, the media answers and the team was Next day when we went to Fenner's game, we saw them 
basically crushing Pau, so the game wasn't that exciting. Although I think that we had a decent interview with Nicolaitis, and the funny part was that we just managed to catch him on the last second. He was about to leave the gym. We kind of stopped him and said, hey, Nick, can I ask you a few questions? He recognized us and said that, oh, Basket News, you're spicy. So spicy means good, right? Cool. Cool. You're not spicy. You're not spicy. <laughs> <laughs>